The two petitions were presented to the House on Tuesday by Boko Central MP Mahama Yariga. A petition on behalf of Dr. Kobina Dufo, who used to be a shareholder of the defunct Unibank Ghana Limited. <laughs> Some MPs from the majority had qualms with the decision of the Speaker to admit the petitions despite the fact that the matters were already in court. It's a subject matter of litigation in court, which everybody knows about. That is my only word. Honourable member. So that it doesn't become a backdoor. That is Order 93. And that is when it comes for debate. The disagreement reached a crescendo and there was an open confrontation between the speaker and the majority leader. Even when you were the deputy speaker, you were insistent that members speak from their seats so that you'll be able to identify them. What I noticed is that you gather steam to make that pronouncement, and yet as the day wears on, you relax the rules. I will encourage you to be consistent with this so that everybody will speak from your seat. His or his seat. That it should not be relaxed. I will encourage you to do that. I will. But I want you to take this on board. Don't relax it. Don't relax the rules. Honorable Majority Leader, the business of government is led by you in this house. You don't lead Parliament. You lead the business of the house. You lead the majority. And you lead government business. As to the role of the speaker, you haven't reached there yet. When you get there, you do so. The speaker upheld the directive for the formation of a seven-member committee and the submission of names of members before the house goes on recess. It's before the house. It cannot just remain at the table. The House will have to consider it. And that's why there's a need for a special committee or ad hoc committee to handle it. Or if the House decides that because of the subject matter, you will refer to a subject matter committee to handle and report to the House, so be it. And that is why I'm guiding the House for us to carve out the procedure of how to handle it. Later, the House approved the budget estimates of 512 million Ghana cities for the Ministry of Railway Development, 1.9 billion Ghana cities for the Roads and Highways Ministry, and 657 million Ghana cities for the Transport Ministry.